Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the US 192 US 441 Improvement Public Meeting. My name is Will Isidot, and I am the project manager for the Florida Department of Transportation. During this meeting, we will provide information on plans to improve operations and safety along US 192 US 441 from Nova Road to Arthur J. Gallagher Boulevard. We want to hear from you. And there are many ways to provide feedback. The project team will respond to all questions in writing and all written comments will become part of the public meeting record. I will now turn it over to our project team to begin the presentation. Meeting information is being provided in multiple ways to allow the community to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person and virtually through GoToWebinar. The presentation is also available on the project webpage at www.cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 448796-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Melissa McKinney, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 501, Deland, Florida, 32720. By phone at 386-943-5077 or email melissa.mckinney at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Stefan Kulikowski, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Swanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450 by phone at 850-414-4742 or email at stefan.kulikowski at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This project is located in Osceola County on US-192, US-441, also known as East Earlo Bronson Memorial Highway. The project begins at Nova Road and ends at Arthur J. Gallagher Boulevard. The financial project identification number or FPID for this project, is 448-796-1. The purpose of this project is to resurface the pavement to extend the service life of the existing roadway and enhance safety for all users along the corridor. Proposed safety improvements include constructing a six-foot-wide sidewalk along the westbound side of the corridor, as well as reviewing and updating the pedestrian curb ramps to meet current Americans with Disabilities Act ADA standards. Proposed safety improvements at the intersection of US-192, US-441, and Arthur J. Gallagher Boulevard include upgrading lighting and traffic signal heads, installing an additional mast arm traffic signal at the southeast corner of the intersection, and adding a crosswalk with a pedestrian activated signal on the west leg of the intersection. Currently, this segment of US 192 US 441 is a four lane divided highway with two 12 foot travel lanes in each direction, two foot paved inside shoulders, five foot outside paved shoulders, and a 36 foot grass median. The corridor lacks sidewalk except at the bridge and on the eastbound approach to Arthur J. Gallagher Boulevard. 
FDOT is planning on resurfacing the entire corridor and updating all the signs and pavement markings. In addition, the project proposes to construct a six-foot-wide sidewalk along the westbound side of the roadway to enhance safety and to provide mobility. As part of this project, FDOT is proposing operational and safety improvements at the intersection of US-192, US-441 and Arthur J. Gallagher Boulevard, including upgrading intersection lighting and traffic signal heads, installing an additional mast arm traffic signal at the southeast corner of the intersection for improved visibility, and adding a crosswalk with a pedestrian signal and detector at the west leg of the intersection. Other proposed improvements include adding a westbound bicycle through lane or keyhole lane at the Nova Road intersection, installing new lighting at the intersection at Old Melbourne Highway, and providing landscaping enhancements between Lake Lizzie Court and Lake Lizzie Drive to discourage illegal use of the right-of-way. The project also proposes installing audible and vibratory treatment, AVT, along the outside edge of the travel lanes to enhance safety throughout the corridor. AVT consists of pavement markings that help reduce lane departure crashes by alerting drivers if their vehicle drifts outside of the travel lane. Once construction begins, the traveling public can expect at least one lane in each direction to remain open at all times. Lane closures will occur at night near signalized intersections. On other segments along the corridor, closures will occur day and night. Access to businesses and residences will be maintained throughout the corridor. Moving forward, the design of this project is ongoing and anticipated to be complete in early 2025 at an estimated cost of $2.2 million. The improvements on this project will be within the existing right-of-way. Construction for this project is funded for summer 2025 with an estimated cost of $14.2 million. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by August 5, 2024, 12 days after the public meeting, will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. In-person attendees are encouraged to speak with project team members to ask questions and provide input. To submit a comment for the public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. You may also contact FDOT Project Manager Will Isidort directly by email at will.isidort at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call Mr. Isidort at 386-943-5415 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about this project, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number, 448796-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, 
Please submit them by August 5, 2024. Have a good evening.